Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another dev look. Thank you so much for joining me again. So I can show you my silly game. This is currently uh, the newest version that I've been working on. And I'll go over the changes real quick. I recorded this like two times and I was all over the place. Uh, and I ran into some other bugs. Classic. This is a food display zone. This is uh, basically what you saw before in here. This like green rectangle. Uh, any food that you place in here will be ordered by customers uh, if they are inclined to do so. Uh, for now, they will just buy anything that's in here. So here's your croissant and enjoy. He's now walking behind the counter because this here, this food zone, the, the product drop zone, uh, can be moved around. You can put that anywhere where you like and the customer will walk there to pick up his product. Um, that's one change. Uh, another. Lights, as you can see, have been added to the game. So you can buy new light fixtures, move them around on the ceiling. You can uh, place them anywhere where you like. And it really looks nice later uh, at night. It was way too dark because I just didn't have any lights. We have a light switch that affects all lights that are in the game. So this is like one universal light switch. It doesn't do anything. You don't have to turn it on or off right now. Uh, another thing that has been added, it's a big addition, is the furniture. Furniture is pretty damn important. Now you have chairs and tables that actually function as such. So you, what do you want? You want a coffee? Sure, I'll, I'll give you a coffee. Uh, let's put that on the zone. Here you go. You go and pick it up and he might even want to sit down. No, he's he's taking his coffee out the door. That's okay. Some customers will uh, uh, take a coffee to go. Some will go and sit down now. I just want to show you guys one person sitting down. Oh, yeah, right. I got to take your order first. You wanted a coffee? Here, grab your coffee. And that person is now going to the free chair. Chairs are considered uh, available if they're close enough to a table. If they're too far away, people won't sit down on them. If there's no chair and they want to sit down somewhere, they're going to be like, oh, there's a chair. And, you know, they're going to wait it out. Any case, person's going to consume its coffee eventually. They just sit around for a while. Some people sit longer, some uh, sit less, which brings me to customer types. Look, we got a robber. Chances that a robber spawns is fairly low, and uh, chances that he will give you a tip is also very low. He's very impatient as well. These are all factors that are now in the game. He wanted a coffee. Uh, but they might give good tips. This guy. It's just... <laughs> I'm just working with what I got. I did not make these models, as pointed out. Those are uh, asset packs. I'm not very good at modeling uh, characters, especially the animations. Uh, I'm really horrible at that, but so far, I'm using these. Customer types, again, they have different spawn rates. They uh, will more or less likely be happy when it comes to dirt or how long they wait. This is all dependent on the type. For example, a hobo will be okay with the dirt that's in the store, um, but he will probably not tip you a whole lot. Anyways, that's one thing that has changed as well. Popularity is a big thing. As you can see, we're at popularity 11 at the top right. You see this and popularity. Oh, there's there's the tip. Thank you. Um, the popularity changes how many people are willing to stand in line. Low popularity, for example, means only two people are willing to stand in line. The more popular your store is, the more are willing people are people willing to wait and stand in line. Big, big difference. Uh, you will also just have more people coming to your store. You will stand in line because two is still okay. I, I'm not interested. Go away. Just throwing food in his face. Always get a kick out of that. Can't, can't help myself. Uh, yeah, those are additional changes. And they pretty much took the most time, uh, given that the popularity system ties in with a lot of things in the game. So, as you can see right now, popularity is at 9. If I throw something at the customer, he, he's going to be unpopular. Uh, he's not going to be happy about this. Uh, he's going to be all upset that you did that. And it affects the popularity the next day. So, um, some customers have a higher popularity effect, meaning uh, that... A police officer has a higher effect than, let's say, a punk. If a punk doesn't like your store, so what? But if the police officer doesn't like your store, that's a bigger uh, um, effect. There's plenty of places where popularity gets effect and, uh, affected, and that's not a thing I'm going to be super uh, uh, well explained. You kind of have to figure that out for yourself, and that's where the charm of games, I feel like that comes in to figure out what's the best way to do things. Uh, other than that, uh, a lot of bugs have been fixed. Dirt is now a thing that spawns properly on the floor. It, it looks like a disaster. I still haven't my, my made a sponge. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Some customers spawn more dirt than others, obviously. For example, a street worker will most likely always spawn dirt in your store. 
Uh, and right now you only clean it up with a sponge. Awful! Anyways, those are the changes uh, that are in the game. I know they're not too exciting in terms of visuals, but then again, we have lights, and that's really exciting, and we have furniture, so you can have plenty of tables, and they also affect the uh, satisfaction of the individual customers because they have furniture values, and right now there's not a whole ways to decorate your store, but at least you can have, uh, yeah, furniture. Also, if you leave customers in your store and the door open, that is also now getting affected. You left customers in the store, they are not happy, they also stole stuff, GG. That's the message you get. I know, it's not fancy, but it does the trick. Basically, uh, it will hit your popularity if you leave them in your store and they will steal some stuff. Also, they steal stuff when you just leave the door open. So that happens and uh, yeah, you see the popularity of the day, that's the value uh, that is getting shown now. And yeah, that's it so far. Thank you so much for watching this devlog. I hope that was informative, uh, kept you up to date with the changes, and I hope uh, I can show you something like uh, an espresso machine next time. That's like one of the big things I want to work on, and a broom, and you know, just more items to interact with, because I was working on a lot of the systems in the background. I didn't consider a lot of systems when I was writing the game at first, because the scope just keeps growing and growing and growing. I keep adding more features and ideas to it. Um, that I want to have in the game and that also requires to keep those kind of bug free because I want you guys to be able to play it. Uh, anyways, feel free to drop by on one of my Twitch streams when I do game dev. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.